Why is your belly ring irritated and what can you do? You'll often find conflicting information about the do's and don'ts of navel piercing care, even from very reputable sources. For example, the use of tea tree oil or over-the-counter antibiotic creams like Neosporin. Need I mention that friend we all have that just knows better? Whether you're experiencing irritation as you're watching this or you're just wondering how you should handle it if it happens, it's important not to rush to quick remedies. The first step is to understand what's causing the irritation. So let's start with some symptoms. If there's redness, swelling, and tenderness, or you're starting to see a bump, your piercing is irritated. And depending on the excessiveness of the swelling or presence of fluid, it could already be an infection. What's causing it? It could be something as simple as playing with your piercing or maybe handling your piercing with unclean hands. It may even happen from using harsh products like rubbing alcohol or that fun scented soap. There are many reasons in addition to these, but most commonly it's due to inappropriate jewelry or trauma. Metal allergies are at the top of the list and often develop over time with exposure to known allergens like nickel. So you may think you got the right jewelry because you didn't have any issues, but prolonged exposure to allergens will certainly do it. Some materials also degrade over time. This only amplifies the issue. In other words, your reaction to materials isn't always immediate. This doesn't just happen with inexpensive jewelry, although it's very common. Solid gold is no exception. How and why? Greed is usually the culprit. You, the customer, want to get the best deal, so vendors find ways to give you that lower or lowest price. You think that comes out of their profit, think again. And for this reason, materials are not always equal. Another critical reason is piercing trauma. You've done something to hurt your piercing and it doesn't have to be blunt force. Think of that funky shaped jewelry or heavy dangly charm, or enable jewelry that is not appropriately sized. The impact to your piercing is gradual and you don't realize it's happening, but if you hit your piercing or snags, you will know. Your piercing will become quickly irritated and if it's severe, could get infected as well. It's like you're reminding your body that there's a foreign object in it. This is how you trigger piercing migration or rejection. It starts slowly, then all at once. And by the way, if you have a fresh piercing, every time you sleep on it, that's trauma to your piercing. Do not sleep on your fresh piercing. Before I get into remedies, there's one more reason I want to touch on that's completely out of your control. That is, your piercing is placed incorrectly on an angle or a part of your body that simply never heals. You wait and wait and nothing happens. Only a professional piercer can help you assess this. So in conclusion, what can and should you do? Start with understanding the cause. If it's happening to you now, seeing your piercer is a smart choice depending on the severity, you should consider seeing a doctor. They may prescribe medications such as an antibiotic, but the best understanding is how to prevent it from happening in the first place. Either way, let's think about this carefully. When did it start and how much did it swell? Is there any green yellow fluid coming out? Have you hurt your piercing in any way? Did you sleep on it? Did your jewelry get caught and pull on something? Is the jewelry too long, too heavy, too bulky? By the way, in certain cases, the jewelry can be too short and applying pressure onto your piercing is a big no-no. See my post on this. Changing your jewelry can be an important step. Be careful to not remove your jewelry permanently if you have an infection. The wound will close and trap the infection. This can be very dangerous. Keeping in the jewelry allows you to drain the fluids. An important tip, your piercing heals much faster with solid gold jewelry. Am I biased? Yes, I'm biased. I chose my materials carefully because I care about those things. One critical thing, handle your piercing with clean hands at all times, no exceptions. Don't use rubbing alcohol, oils like tea tree oil, or any smart remedies. Sterile saline, that's it. If your reputable piercer or doctor says otherwise, then you can follow their advice. And while you're healing, stay away from pools, piercing care never ends. And remember, navel jewelry is a part of you. It never stays out of your piercing for long. Do your research. I also strongly encourage you to watch the comprehensive guide under the T section of my website, jolico.com. Every minor detail matters.